Alright, so hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're going to be playing some Tales from the Borderlands. I'm actually on the dashboard right now because I accidentally clicked A and it started the chapter. So, I believe um, that as soon as I click on it, it's going to start that intro scene where it has that Marcus bloke um, speaking. So, I'm hoping it's not going to have that, but it's going to. So I can just, it's bound to, I can tell. Um. But this series, this uh, chapter, sorry, uh, no, episode, um, must be rather long because we've still got to find out, like, how we find, um, the vault and how it all messes up and why we are following this bloke trying to, or lady, trying to find these, p uh, pieces for the, um, for the vault, so, no, for Gortis to find the vault, but yeah, I'm going to click on it, let's see. No, I'm going to skip to the cutscene. Right, so guys, this is going to be the cutscene for chapter 5. The chapter, no, for episode 5. The episode is called um, The Vault, uh, The Traveller's Vault or something, I think it's called. I will put it up on screen, tell you what it actually is called. Here we are at the finale. Or should I say, finally, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, I don't write this stuff. If you recall, the long journey to the Vault of the Traveler actually began by accident. Atlas's gorgeous robot was designed to not only summon the Vault of the Traveler, it was also meant to deal with the complications of entering the Vault. Two unlikely Vault Hunters began to assemble it. But one component remained out of reach on a Hyperion space station. Pressed into service by the local crime lord, they concocted a plan to sneak aboard. The corporate lackey had access to inside information, but he didn't dare reveal his source. An old rival provided a priceless disguise, <laughs> while new allies helped cobble together a rummage sale like rocket ship. Once again, tempting fate, they flung themselves into space. Indeed, they would have died up there, were it not for the sacrifice of a noble soul. Finally aboard the space station, the salary man found himself contending with his ambitious former accomplice. But time was short, and he was very busy, so he referred her to his assistant. Working together, the gun artist and the salary man managed one last miracle and acquired the final Gortis component. But just then, Handsome Jack offered the salary man everything he had ever wanted. How could he possibly refuse? Put them in one of the cells for questioning. at one of the security checkpoints. We're here to be shot, Tony! Uh, what? We all know about the plan. We intercepted your comms. So... Oh, cool! So we don't have to explain it. Where's Reese? A lot of strange things have been happening today. And I just need to talk to him. Listen, if I were you, I'd just take my little crew, walk on out of here, and pretend I didn't see any of this. Well, luckily, you're not me. You're not leaving here until I start getting some answers. What the hell is that? Oh my god. Get them into the cell. Hey, President Asshole, what's taking so long? 
Reese, what is going on up there? Let's get dirty. I can't believe it. What? That you're finally in charge? Don't be surprised, kid. I mean, not to sound like a frickin' shampoo commercial here, but you deserve it because you killed a lot of people to get here. So listen, I know where you're coming from. A little imposter syndrome's normal when you basically just become a god. But don't listen to that little voice inside your head telling you you're not good enough, all right? Because it's strength. It's hard enough to get a rod in. Then move on. Limitless power, sweet office. So, what's the catch? The catch was that you had to kill like a hundred people did that, kid, because you are a badass. Look, let me, you're done with catching. Sorry, that right? was my phone. There are no more catches for you for the rest of your life, ever. If you want something to happen, it's just gonna happen. That's what power is. This is a perfect partnership, Reese. You trusted me, I trusted you, and now we're here. And I never really had a partner I could count on before. So it's kind of dope. But enough talking, am I right? It's time for you to make your first command as president, Reese. You gotta project power. You gotta project vision. But you also want to convince the toadies that you care about them. That's important. Yeah, uh, how exactly do I do that? Oh, that's such a good question. You are on the ball today, Reese. Here, given the current corporate landscape, there's three big changes you could make right here, right now. Which ones are gonna be? Let's blast a bandit camp. I love it. Great to know all your time down there hasn't turned you into a psycho lover, kid. You know what? I tell you what. Let's target. Prosperity Junction. Yeah, oh, wait, wait, what? Target locked. No, 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 no target locked. Prosperity Junction is not a bandit camp. Uh, close enough. Fire it! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, chill out. It's fine. Wasn't a big mortar. Worst case, maybe we killed half a dozen dudes. Hey, wait, wait, who, who cares? It's small time stuff. You, you really got to see this next project I've got prepped. <laughs> I was talking about? Yeah, not the Yama actually built it. Uh, you said he never finished it. Yeah, I know I lied, but that was before we were partners. Anyway, we're gonna put it inside my original body and then upload my consciousness into it so I'd be wearing my old body, like a skin suit. It's great, right? Uh, that's insanely creepy. I know, right? But in a fun way. All right, now the one problem was how to get the endoskeleton into my body without killing me first. But since I'm dead anyway, I had a way cooler idea. Are you ready for this? This is awesome. We make a shitload of these endoskeletons, we put them into the corpses of the bandits we killed, and then we upload my AI into all of them. You want to make an army of jacks? Freaking awesome, right? I mean, Hyperion troops die in battle, grab the corpse, That's shove an endoskeleton into it, weird. boom, another jack. Some asshole gives you left, boom, jackpot. Successfully wipe out a bandit camp, you turn the corpses into more jacks. Within a few months, Hyperion would have the smartest, best looking fighting force in the universe. And the best part is, Reese, baby, you're gonna be the first recipient. Huh? Uh, now I, I know metal skeleton forcing its way into your body. Uh, scary idea. What the hell is wrong with you? There is no way I am doing that. Uh, detecting a little ingratitude here, Reese. I did make you present. Uh, we just mortared a bandit camp together, really? 
if I'm being honest, backing out after you got to have your fun, huh? kind of a, kind of a dick move. I don't know what I ever saw in you. You're nuts. Oh, you used to worship me, kid. What the hell happened? You had it right the first time. But you know what? Knowing how you feel now, this makes it that much easier to kill you. I am taking the beacon and getting out of here. This was your chance to make history, you moron. To be part of a legacy. To matter for once in your useless little life. See it, kiddo. Oh, hell no. Oh, shit. Well, shit. We need to go. Yeah, not an option. We still don't have the beacon. He's not coming. You heard the announcement. Reese made his choice. Still, a promise is a promise. No one promised anyone anything. No, it's, you don't know what's going on. We said we'd meet him here, so that's what we're doing. Yeah, sometimes things are complicated. Once Hyperion, always Hyperion. Warning lockdown protocol in effect. Whoa! Okay, now we really have to go. Come on, hang her base this way. Do you know what you'd be right now without me? Nothing. Nothing! Nobody turns their back on me unless they want me to sink an axe into it, you ungrateful shit! Oh, I am not gonna forget this. Fiona, Sasha, Vaughn, and once they're dead, I'm going to make them my flesh pot. And you're gonna watch as your best friends tear you limb from freaking limb! Oh my body. It hurt. Oh, it that would fucking hurt. Okay. So, I'm guessing the president thing didn't go over so well. That's That's fine. Yeah, that's just fine. Oh, Reese, God. we got a problem. Oh, cool, dude. Add it to the list. The hangar bay doors just lock tighter than a bully monk's jaw. The caravan ain't going nowhere. Awesome. That's awesome. Okay. Uh I'll override it at the power core. Just give me a minute to get my ribs. Ooh, okay. <sighs> okay. I can do this. Reese. I'm so sorry. You bet? Well, hello, Yvette. Listen, Reese. I gave Hyperion your coordinates because they gave me a guarantee. Guarantee? Oh, that we would have a painful death? Is that the guarantee? That you'd be safe. They wanted to kill you and rip some top secret file out of your head. I made sure they spared you. Please, Reese. I'm as good as dead if you leave me. No. Reese. Please. I'm sorry, okay? Come on. Like you never screwed someone over for a promotion. Reese. No, because you're just Reese! like call security and then we'll just be chucked in there. I'm not doing that. That would have been seriously wrong. I nearly like gave in, but I can't be bothered. There's no point. Because if she's done it once, she's just going to do it again. Hey, kiddos! Daddy's home! What's going on? Yes, dare to dream. It's me, Handsome Jack, your favorite. I'm back in the digital flesh, baby, and I need you to help me find my very good friend. Whatever it is, it can't be good. Hey, everybody. You remember that guy, Reese, the new president, the last handsome guy? Well, he's just done... Hey, hey, you idiot. You look like the kind of moron that hangs out with middle management. Do you know where Reese stands? Right, so this is chapter one done. Obviously, we're gonna do to chapter two. That's what we will do. Time to go. Yeah, you know, even though it's full of flesh-eating monsters, Pandora suddenly feels a lot safer than here. Someday, I want to live on a nice planet. Good luck with that. Hello, ladies. Great. So, how are things? Still alive, I see. Well done. Uh, just a quick quest for you both. Where the hell is Reese? I got every 
single Helios employee looking for that ass clown. So save him some major calf strain and turn him in already. Last I heard, he was in your old office. Uh, trust me, Cupcake, he ain't in there. Otherwise, I'd be inside him. Let's go, Fiona. He can't touch us. Well, you are just 100% right about that, Pumpkin. I can't, but my guards and their bullets sure can, and a shit ton of them are heading to you right now. Could get messy. So in the essence of saving on cleanup costs, why don't we just figure this out together, huh? I mean, I'll be straight with you. Reese is definitely gonna die. But you don't have to. I mean, I don't care enough about you to kill you. You're bluffing. I call bullshit on your guards. Yeah, that's the smartest thing you've ever said. Probably the stupidest, though. Because I built this station. I hired the guards, and calling them in to kill people is, like, my favorite thing. Fine. Prove it. Oh, here are my guards. Now remember, you had a chance to avoid this next part. You think on that while you're headbutting bullets. It's gonna be Reese, isn't it? Oh no. Hey, who said you could kill my guards? You bastard! Hey! Yeah, just make a load of noise then. Hell of a lot of monitors in this place. Fuck me. Look, kid is hard. to do this. Oh, that was easy. I thought it was going to be like the one where we had to do it with Jack. And like, I was literally probably going to rage if I had to do that. You're not as smart as you think you are. And you're not as good at threats as you think you are. Brains are, eh, in case you don't know, plenty of leaders about them. All right, Jack, you want to shut me out of the computer systems? Fine. We'll go right to the source. Let's see how long you survive without a power core. Just break a load more ropes. Just go ahead. I am glad you're out of my brain so I can finally kill you. Back off, Reese. Don't you even try to shut me down. Uh, you know what? Your puny little body isn't worth all this trouble. Seriously. Core venting process initiated. It's gonna be way more fun watching you get vented into space. Oh, shit. That's bad. That's really, 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 really bad. Warning. Airlocks in janitorial division. Failing. 32 custodial staff vented into space. Yeah, I know. Heavy 
right? You twirl on that one for a bit. Without me, you're nothing. Because that style of document space ain't you. Filled with a handsome end of Warning. Ventilation aborted. Room repressurizing. Check! Eat it all! Retro rockets activated. Helios thrusters offline. No, 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 where are you going? Where are you going? You can't leave me here! Impact with Pandora imminent. Please begin evacuation procedures. Oh, you little asshole! Look what you have done! So they just left us. That is honestly not very nice of them. They should just... If they, if they honestly like left us, that's gonna be... That's actually really annoying. That's really pissed me off. They have as well. Right, these idiots. Hey, August, we got problems. Hang the door shut a few minutes ago. The whole base is on lock. So that's chapter two complete. So if you guys did enjoy this um video, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. Peace. Bye.